Yo, what's going on there, peeps? It's Saturday here. We got our Salty Saturday workout. This is usually our four-time workout or something similar to that, higher volume, which is what we're gonna be doing here today. All body weight. And uh, if you're doing this uh, not with us outside and you're doing this from home, then you're gonna pick any one of the warm-ups uh, that we did for the last few days here, Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, and incorporate that as your warm up or something of yourself that you really need to uh, to open up or loosen up for the workout. By all means, uh, all power to you. Get at that. The workout itself is going to be our 40 20 workout. We're going to try and go five rounds for time, and that's going to be inside of the 30 minutes here, okay? So, we're probably gonna, some might be easier than others. Uh, you're gonna get caught up on some, especially probably the first one that I'm going to show you. It's gonna be 2040. I'm gonna walk through that, exactly what um, that is. Hold on there, folks, as I get this baby ready. Sorry about that. All right, it's gonna be 20 dead stop push-ups. Again, this will be from the knees or from the feet, however uh, it works for you, into 40 fast feet, right? And I'm show you what that looks like. Uh, from right there, you're gonna then go into 20 uh, split jumps, all right? Or if you can't do the jumps, you're gonna go right into split squats, okay? And then into 40, and then into skater hops, and then gonna do 20 shoulder taps, then into 40 mountain climbers, guys. So the way this is gonna start out, your first pairing of exercises, which is 20, 40, is going to be, let me get rid of that weight from the previous example, is gonna be your dead stop push-up. So again, if this is from the knees here, what we're going to do is get up into that push-up position here. We're gonna come down to the ground, hands up, and then push up, back up here. If we're coming from the feet here, this is down to the ground, back up, and push all the way through there. Guys, if you cannot do the dead stop push-ups, then simply I would say give them a shot. But if you cannot, you're just gonna simply do 20 push-ups, all right? From there, you're gonna get up, and we're gonna go with fast, fast feet. This is a nice athletic position here, and we're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and you're gonna count all the way up to 40, right? That's gonna jack the heart rate up, it's gonna get the legs burning, because we're in this uh, flexed position here for an extended period of time, right? The idea here is if you want, you can get a kick up as you're counting and you're working through there. That will require some coordination to do so. So you can simply do the fast feet. You can see that I did that for, I don't know, 20 seconds or 10 count and already getting the heart rate up there. So you're gonna go right from there into your 20 split jacks, guys. So it's gonna be split squats. So we're gonna do 20 of them, which would be 10 per leg. Inhaling as we come down, drive through that floor is this first level. I would get 10 on one leg before switching over into 10 on the other leg, right? Otherwise, if we go at that higher, intermediate, or advanced level, we're simply gonna go with our split jumps. Two, three, four, five, right? Getting to 20 before we go into our skater hops. Nice athletic position again, feet together, and we're gonna hop out to the side, keeping the trailing leg inside each and every rep. As we go through there, you're gonna get 40 of those. From there, guys, we're gonna go back down into that plank position. Right here, head's gonna be out in front, one and two. Try and not fly through these. Keep your hips and shoulders as square as you can. You're gonna get 20 on your shoulder taps. By all means, if you wanna use regular basic math, one, two, that's up to you. If you wanna challenge yourself, and each side would be one to get to 20. Then you would go in your 40 mountain climbers. This one here is gonna be each leg is one, head out in front, one, two, three, right, getting up to 40. Once you do that, you then get yourself back up and you start at the top. The idea there is to try and work your way all the way through five rounds, getting through there as efficiently as possible. Yes, it's a rounds for time, but that doesn't mean that you, pardon my language, blow your load and then you're completely gassed and you're struggling. As with the MRAPs and these rounds for time and with any workout you're trying to do, you wanna have a level of sustainability through that workout. Okay, guys, that there is your Saturday workout. If you enjoy it, please comment in the videos below, comment on the Facebook page, let me know in studio. That's all I got for you. If you're a dad out there, happy Father's Day. Wish your dad a happy Father's Day. Peace and love, we out.